I'm gonna go ahead and purge first. I'm bring this up here to a purge level. And that's just gonna quickly push more through the lines to get any air that's sitting in there out. And when you're ready, you're gonna adjust it down to actually braise. Hey guys, it's Bert with HVAC School. Uh, today, I'm having a little fun putting together this piece of work here. Check this out. I got a line set, 50 foot, that I'm attaching to the coil. I'm putting this together for the AHR conference in Orlando for Jim Bergman. But I thought, great opportunity to show flowing with nitrogen while you're brazing. We don't have a video yet where any of us over here at HVAC School show you how to braze while flowing nitrogen. So this is it, this is the big one. Okay, so whole process, start to finish with flowing nitrogen uh, while you're brazing. This is not your typical setup. As you can see, this is, you know, I specifically put this together for Jim for demonstration. So you would normally have your suction port out at the condenser and your liquid line port. And what you want to do is remove the straighters out of these ports. Anytime you have the copper open, you're pulling a vacuum. And whenever you're pulling a vacuum, of course, you're pulling those straighters, right? Pull your straighters out, first step. Uh, second step, we're gonna purge the line. We are going to get flush out the oxygen. So oxidation will form if you have oxygen inside your lines and you start brazing, it'll form. So that black stuff that you see on the outside of your copper that you can just like rub off when you finish brazing, that forms on the inside of your copper as well. And that that's from oxygen in the air. So what will happen is if you flow nitrogen through these whole lines and there's no outside air getting in, no oxygen, there's only a nitrogen there, you'll have a perfectly clean braze on the inside of your line. Don't, then you're coating the inside of your lines with oxidization uh, that's forming on there and then it breaks free when the refrigerant passes through and it actually pushes it into the TXVs and into the screens. Any small area that it can clog, it will. To avoid that problem, you flow nitrogen while you're brazing. So to do this, we have our nitrogen here. So right here's our dial. This is the Western nitrogen regulator. It's fantastic. I have purge, braze, and off, or test. If I turn it to test, I can fill up the lines with high pressure or I can blow lines out or purge, or I can turn it down to braze and it'll just trickle out. You know, threads on by hand right here. You know, it's really easy to get in and out of your nitrogen tank. I got mine off of truetechtools.com. So I'm flowing into the blue here, and I got a cap on this side, so it's all gonna be forced out of these two right here. Switch that to purge. Now it's just pushing, you know, pretty low pressure still, but we're just purging all the air out of our lines. In the meantime, I'm gonna put a little wet rag I'm done I can just take that right off of there and stick it back in here and reuse it so when you are hooking up the nitrogen to the system you're starting to flow it you just want to be thinking about where am I putting it in which direction is that gonna go and where is it coming out like in this situation it's a little different than what you typically see but I'm going in here to the suction line so the nitrogen is gonna flow in and go in both directions one is gonna go through the coil and come out of that coil and up here through one brace that I still have to do and through uh, the line set and then out to another brace that I need and the nitrogen at the same time is flowing in through this line set across this brace that I still need to do all the way through that line set and to this top brace here that I still need to seal up. What you want to do is you're going to open one port, flow your nitrogen in, and then you're going to have the straighter removed from the other port. And usually you open it, remove the straighter valve, and nitrogen can just be flowing out there. I'm ready to braze now, so I'm going to set it, turn it to braze, and this actually slows down the flow. You're usually between two to five CFH cubic feet per hour. This is what I had before, so you can use any type of regulator and then hook this on you set it just barely floating and you're flowing nitrogen while you're brazing don't just guess at setting the flow it's really low i mean you can see in my my gauge right there it's it's zero my gauges don't even know this is happening 
So get yourself a tool you can use all the time, something easy like this. Let me just show you how this one works. All right, so let me set, turn this back to purge. So I get a little bit more pressure feeding into here. All right, so the ball has flown up because I'm flowing too much air through right now. Just tighten it down. And there we have it, we have a floating ball. We're ready to start brazing. There it is, my, uh, my little regulator ball is still floating and I've brazed all of my joints in and uh, I'm not gonna cut any of these open. This is my work of art here, this thing that I got going on here. So I'm not cutting this open and showing you, but if I did, each one of these joints are gonna be beautifully clean on the inside. I got some of these really hot on the outside here so I could just demonstrate this right here. You see this flaky oxidization buildup on the outside. That is the same thing will happen on the inside of your copper if you're not flowing. If you have any oxygen on the inside, moisture, oxygen, things like that, oxidization is going to build up and then the first time that refrigerant flows through there, it knocks all that loose, come off, start clogging up your screens and your, and your uh, TXV. So. Okay, I just pulled up on one of our installs, so it should be right about when they're brazing. I was in the area and he said they're gonna brace soon, so I came over. I wanna get a in the field video of flowing nitrogen, so let's go. Let's go bust Grant's trainee outside at the condenser. See if he's actually uh, blowing. What's up, Ryan? Hey, bud. What's up, man? Where are you going here? I'll just bust in the show. This is the Victor 2.0, the Victor Edge 2.0. Oh, this is a nice one. This is a great regulator. You can thread it on by hand here. Um, so pull it off every time you put it in the vehicle. You know, just unscrew it, screw it on. It also has your very precise flow rates here for brazing. As you can see, the braze CFH, which is uh, cubic feet per hour, you have a range between three and six. So it's hardly any flow at all, but that's what you want, that kind of precision. And it looks like just about the start. That's great, amazing timing. That's how I roll. So we're not quite connected up here. You want to make sure everything's off the copper. So you can actually flow. Pretty crucial. You want to make sure that's all clear. Yeah, so just make sure your copper is all cleared out and you can actually flow. But an important first step is to remove the straighter from each side so they've both been removed and then you can flow nitrogen through. And right now, let's see, we got a brace here and it looks like another connection coming out of the chase. This is a reused copper application. This building we're up there. We've got a couple brazes out here. Um, the air handler's not quite in yet, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna flow nitrogen into this port here for this brace and this brace. And it's dumping up upstairs, you know, it's open at the air handler, not yet connected. And then when it's time to do this side, we'll just switch this over to here, flow across this joint for brazing. And then once the air handler is connected, you can just flow into either side and have it uh, dumping out whichever port you have open with the straighter removed. It's important to just think about which way is my nitrogen going in? What is it gonna hit next? Is it open at the top? Is it still sealed up there? If you've pushed copper lines and the other end is braced shut, you don't wanna start flowing nitrogen into there. So make sure it's open, it's actually dumping. If it's all connected at the air handler, that's great. It'll push through the evaporator and come out here and dump through this port, uh, which is what we'll do when we're brazing in the air handler. That's all set up right. Now let's get this actually turned on. So. This one right here we have plus minus. Start out making sure that it's pretty much off. Cool. And then we'll open our tank. So you can see how much pressure we have in our tank. This one has just over a thousand PSI. And then we'll adjust to start flowing. I'm gonna go ahead and purge first. I'm gonna bring this up here to a purge level. And that's just gonna quickly push more through the lines to get any air that's sitting in there out. And when you're ready, you're gonna adjust it down to actually brace. Grant's regulator is really nice. We are ready to brace. What are you squawking at? <laughs> I was hooked up there. Okay. So you can do it. Video. Okay, all right, sweet.
it's all hooked up so now we can just feed into one side and it'll flow through all the way out to here cover the end of that oh you did wow it's all hooked up so now we can just feed into one side and it'll flow through all the way out to here just wanted to show the flow direction. So we have coming up from the chase, we're flowing right now into our suction and it's gonna go through the coil and then from the coil out through this TXV. It's gonna flow through the TXV, out through the liquid line like that. So all of your joints are currently being passed through and then it goes down to the condenser and dumps out that open port where we have the straighter removed on the liquid line. So we're ready to brace here. Right about four CFH cubic feet per hour. The air handler is currently being brazed in while it's flowing through and, and out right here on this side. And all of our oxygen out of the lines. We won't have any oxidization buildup inside our line. Uh, I was gonna show the process if you are doing a compressor. So I pulled off the top. Uh, so you have a lot of brazes in here. It's very important to, to flow and keep those lines perfectly clean as well. Flowing can be a little bit different. So you just, Think about where am I putting it in and where is it exiting? Is it coming in in a way that it can actually flow through and exit? Uh, just be thinking about whatever your project is, you gotta flow it across that joint. You have to have your other side completely open, you know, straighter out or a line open. That way you have a really smooth flow. Very straightforward, simple process. Mm -hmm. 